Black Ops 6 has tons of operators coming, and we got them all right here. Let's hop right into the video. That's right, Black Ops 6 has a total of 22 playable operators within the multiplayer experience. These operators coming from past games, even being non-playable characters, to now being able to be played for the very first time. In Call of Duty fashion, there's going to be two teams. One team called the Rogue Black Ops and one team called Crimson 1. Although both teams are packed with familiar faces from old CODs, I think Crimson 1 is going to be our top team. You guys let me know your top team down below. Although it looks interesting, this background gameplay comes from Black Ops Cold War, not Black Ops 6, just in case anyone might have thought that it did come from black ops 6 it doesn't it is cold war so don't get your hopes up on that part however back to our team so we'll be starting this conversation off with the rogue one black ops guys i searched all over the internet i searched as much as i could but they were still a few operators where i couldn't find much information on also guys i'm so sorry if i do mispronounce these names i probably will but i do want to apologize beforehand but here are all the rogue black op operators and here are the ones that we weren't able to find much information on so the guys we weren't able to find much information on were yara ratcliffe Bayan, West Point, and Nazir. But now getting to the guys we do have information on, we have starting with Russell Adler, who is a CIA agent set to stop Perseus. He is known as America's monster and will be the main character coming into BO6. I didn't play much Cold War campaign, so I don't really know the effects Adler had in-game. However, I do know that this means that Cold War to BO6 will be like a continuous campaign story. We also have another returning face, his name being Grigory Weaver. Weaver was a non-playable character from BO1 and he's actually known from his famous look after he lost his left eye in a mission. Again, this character coming all the way back from Black Ops 1 is a bit absurd, especially when we have Adler and Cold War, so this is like going to be some cool type of reunion thing. This might actually mean the ending of Black Ops as a series itself. Of course, that is all conspiracy and theories and rumors, nothing serious on that, but it would be pretty cool to have all these characters come back for a reunion and then finally end the Black Ops like saga. Our next operator we're going to be talking about is Helen Park. Now, she was an operator that was playable back in Black Ops Cold War. This is a theme that you'll see with other operators down the line that most have been playable operators in Cold War. Not many have been brought back from too far before. So we do have a couple of these guys that are going to be making their debut. Obviously, we had some at the beginning that we didn't have information on, but we do have information on some that will be making their debut as a playable operator, such as Troy Marshall. Troy Marshall will be debuting in BO6 as a playable operator. Mr. Marshall has had other appearances in COD titles before, but it looks like in BO6 he will be having a higher role within multiplayer and campaign mode. That is our confirmed list for the Rogue Black Ops operators so far. These, of course, will be added to during BO6 season and lifespan. Now we move over to Crimson 1, which if you can read this title, they have a bunch of crazy and familiar faces. And I honestly think Crimson 1 is going to be the fan favorite team. However, for the operators, Aljo, Bailey, Volta, Moran, Lejo, Kane with a C, we have little to no info on, so we assume they are going to be debuting in BO6. That, however, does lead us over to Mackenzie Carter, who was in both Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops Cold War Zombie. Once again, Mackenzie Carver will not only be a multiplayer operator, but he will be one of the playable characters in BO6 Zombies on the map Terminus. Mackenzie Carver is not the only one from the Crimson side that will be a playable character within Zombie. Elizabeth Gray was also in Cold War Zombies and will be back in BO6 as a playable zombie character for the map Terminus as well. This doesn't also confirm that these two will be multiplayer operators, but it is hint to be that if they're going to be playable within Zombies, they should be able to be playable within multiplayer. And that moves us over to another Cold War guy, Harry Stone. Harry Stone was an operator in Black Ops Cold War and will reprise the role in BO6. This character was a hidden character that was very hard to get. I believe you had to do some sort of secret challenge just to unlock this Stone character. So him coming right off the gate will be super cool. I can't wait to see the ideas they bring with this operator. Now drum roll please. We have the operators you guys have been waiting for. Sticking with that zombie theme, we have Klaus and Brutus. Both were non-playable characters within the Black Ops Zombies experience, but will make their debut as playable operators within BO6 multiplayer. I feel like these are the two characters that everybody is just waiting to play with. Let me know down below your favorite team, and then let me know your favorite operator from that team. Other than that, guys, we've already made some decent amount of videos, so if you guys want to go watch any of the videos, they'll be on my channel. Be the end of this video. Here are a couple screenshots right there. Thank you for all the support, the love, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.